and thanks for joining and if you're new welcome so if you didn't know I love makeup and I totally just am obsessed with it and I saw James Charles a very talented makeup guru do this challenge where I was doing your makeup backwards so like every step that you do would be backwards so the last step would be the first step and the first step would be the last step I I'm sure that makes sense but I'm just re-explaining it but I decided to do it and get inspired by him not really I'm just pretty much doing the same thing as him but you know what I mean so today that's what we're going to be doing I'm going to be watching one of my tutorials so I know what I do last and what I do first and I'm really really nervous because I don't know how this is gonna turn out since like if you're doing it backwards you know what I mean I don't know but Let's do it. We're gonna start with some finishing spray, which this I actually use in the beginning and end of my makeup, so it works out perfectly. Next, we are going to do my lips. That's so weird to do first. And I'm actually going to be doing a glam look, so I'm going to be doing this very pink lip. Next, we have highlighter. Okay, we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing Fenty Beauty Highlighter. So far, so good. Except for the fact that I have to put like foundation over that. Okay, now is bronzer. And I'm going to be using the Butter Bronzer. Next is blush, and I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Blush. It actually looks really good so far, but it's all, like, I'm really nervous because, like, I hate putting products over products. Like, you always want to do cream products before you do, uh, like, powder product. I think I labeled both of those wrong, but you know what I mean. Okay, so next I would be doing my under eye makeup, which is after I do my top, but since it's reverse, we gotta do it first. <laughs> I'm going to be using the Life's a Festival Too Faced palette. And I'm actually going to be doing blue under, even though I'm doing a pink eyeshadow. Oh, that feels so weird because I don't have concealer on. <laughs> Next, we have some powder. Not powder, but like... What would you call this? Pressed finishing powder, yeah. And I do this after I bake my face, but we're reversing it, so I'm using the Tarte Finishing Powder. And I have to go over my highlighter. Oh, oh, that feels really wrong. It's like blending highlighter into my face. That's like gross. Next, we are going to do my eyebrows. So I first will fill in my eyebrows, and then I'll use this e.l.f. gel to brush them out and place them, but first I have to place them before I even fill them in. So that's going to be a experience. This is like awkward. I feel like this is like not even a makeup look. I look so weird right now. Okay, and then next I would bake. I'm going to be using the Airspun Loose Face Powder. Oh my god, that is so weird. I feel, I just realized something. I have to moisturize over all of my, that is nasty. What? Okay. okay, I've waited, so I'm going to brush it off with a big brush. Oh no, honey, no. My under eye eyeshadow is messed up now. <laughs> Literally inhaling powder. Next is concealer. Fun stuff. Oh no, this is my favorite concealer. I don't want to use it. I'm not applying it over the eyeshadow, but I will blend over it. I just don't want to get this all blue, if you know what I mean. But like right as I blend it, I'll blend over it. Because if it weren't there, I would go all the way up, you know? Oh no. Oh, this feels very wrong. It's like blending it in. Oh. Okay, that didn't go terribly, but like, it kind of did. 
Cause like, look at that eye. No, okay. Next is foundation. My least favorite part of this because I have to go over my highlighter, which is not even there anymore. So it doesn't even matter. I literally have blue under my eyes from the concealer being mixed in with the eyeshadow. But I'm going to be using the, that's way too much, Neutrogena foundation. This feels so weird. Next is primer. Oh, this is so weird. I'm definitely not going to apply it straight to my face. I'm going to be using the Porefessional Pore Filling Primer. Oh my God, this feels so weird. I feel like it's just like mixing my foundation around. Ugh. Probably terrible for my skin. <laughs> okay, next is mascara, and I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. And then I have to curl my lashes after I put mascara on. That is totally incorrect. Okay, now I have to curl my lashes. I'm gonna use my old lash curler because I don't wanna ruin my new one. Oh, look at all the mascara on it. <sighs> okay, so for this makeup look, I'm going to be doing a regular hot pink transition shade and a shimmery and gold pink on my lid. So we're gonna start out with my lid instead of first doing the transition shade, which I would usually do, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to be mixing a gold and a pink from the Life's a Festival Too Faced palette and putting that on my crease. This is so hard to do not that my lash is curled. To like push it down. Do you see what happened? I guess I have to leave that there. That's like part of the challenge. This is just great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no! My eyelashes look so wonky. Okay, now for my transition shade. I'm going to be using another color from the Life's a Festival palette. Oh, that just looks very wrong. Okay, now, what I usually do after I prime my eyes is I take a solid white color over my whole lid, and now I have to do that after I've put color. So I'm going to be using a Tarte palette, just using a white color and putting that over my whole lid. <sighs> Why am I doing this? Okay, okay, not that bad, not that bad. Okay, I'm also not pressing that hard. Let's just go for it. Okay, it kind of just blended it all together. Obviously, it doesn't look good, but like, I thought it would be worse. Okay, just kind of made it like all one color, I guess you could say. Oh my God, now I have to prime my eyes. Great! I'm definitely not gonna apply this straight to my eye. Literally just got it in my eyelash. It's because they're curled when they're not supposed to be. <laughs> okay. I expanded my sponge. Let's just blend it. Okay. It literally just broke the color. And now my mascara is all leaked because <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Next. I'm doing my eyebrows and I'm going to be using the Anastasia brow definer pencil and first we have to brush it because I would usually brush it after <gasps> that means I can't blend it oh my god because what I would usually do is put color in and then blend it but now I have to blend it and then put color in so I'm gonna do the bottom line and then I'm gonna stroke up a little bit and that's it, can't blend it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what's next? Okay, next I would spray my face again. And then next, I have to moisturize my face with the Milk Moisturizing Stick. 
So I don't really want to apply it because I don't want... Screw it, I can always get another one. No. Let's just go for it. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, okay, okay, that's it, that's it. Oh, I definitely need to clean that off. I, I'm gonna like take the top layer off with a knife. And there we go. watching this is obviously an absolute fail I think you know that it was a joke I mean obviously it's like a challenge but this is actually really really huh? this was actually really really fun I enjoyed this um obviously I look like a hot mess but I hope you guys enjoyed okay GBAs I'm gonna end the vlog here I hope you enjoyed and if you didn't know I'm doing this new thing where Wednesdays I put out a vlog and then Saturdays I put out a challenge that's why this video is only a challenge looking great uh, but I hope you enjoyed and comment down below more challenges you want me to do and maybe I'll...